So now we're going to talk about teamwork and leadership. Now these two skills are the two skills that actually they ask you most commonly in the interview. And ha always have a think, why are they asking you this question constantly? Well, the reason for that is because as a doctor, you need to show good teamwork and leadership skills on a daily basis. In medicine, you never work by yourself. You're always working in a team. So in the skills tutorial, we spoke about how we talk about a skill, we give an example of the activity where you showed that skill, and then finally we link back to medicine. So for example, let's talk about teamwork to begin with. An example that I would give is that when working uh, in a charity event for NCS, um, we worked in a team. So how did we work in a team? Well, we had to cooperate with each other to actually come up with an idea to raise money for a charity. So everyone had different ideas and perspectives. However, we needed to cooperate with each other so that we could come to a conclusion. Now, linking this to medicine, well, when you become a doctor or you work in medicine, you work alongside different healthcare professionals like pharmacists, um, occupational therapists, consultants, junior doctors, and they will all have different opinions and different ideas. So you need to make sure that you're working together as a team. And again, like I said before, cooperating so that you come to the best conclusion possible. Now, moving on to leadership, again, leadership is a very important skill. So try and discuss a time where you took on a leadership role, either that being a captain, that where you are leading a team um, in any sort of setting, whether it's charity work or uh, developing a new skill within your school environment, but just try to link to medicine all the time as well. So now let's work for an interview question. Can you give me an example of a situation where you've played an effective role as a team member? So pause the video now, uh, try and record yourself with your phone or laptop camera um, for about four or five minutes to try and answer this question, and then we'll go for a worked example. Alongside four fellow students, I organised several events across the UK for cancer research. Managing events involving over 20 people required me to work efficiently in a team. I was approachable, aiming to listen to others and be a flexible member of the team. Additionally, I worked hard, taking on positions of leadership in roles I was allocated. So let's go through two questions on teamwork that are on your screen right now. So what are some features of a good team player? Well, number one, a good team player should show very good communication skills. So they should be listening to other people. They should listen to their team members, but also listen to their team leader as well. Secondly, uh, a feature of a good team player is that they work very hard themselves. They need to have a good work ethic because if you're going to be working in a team, you need to deliver for the team as well. And finally is flexibility. So when you work in a team, you're going to work with people that you like and some that you dislike. So you need to make sure that you're adapting to different types of characters in your team. So on to our next question. Why is teamwork important? Let's go through this example. Teamwork's important because you're combining the strengths of all of the team members. This means you can complete activities more efficiently based on team member strengths. When I was in my medical society committee at school, my strength was design and marketing, so I focused on making posters. Another person could focus on accounts and someone else could focus on sending emails out for our blog. So I really liked this example. Um, the reason for it is because they actually told you why teamwork is so important in a team setting. So they actually explained that it's the combination of strengths of different team players that work together to actually complete activities as efficiently as possible. So when you're explaining why teamwork is really important, just explain the real basis behind team players. Why do you have a team rather than people working individually? Try and answer that question and think about that first. Like with any answer, there, are, there can be improvements and there are different points that they could have mentioned as well. So another reason why teamwork is important is because you can delegate tasks um, efficiently and also uh, it's actually very motivating being, being in a team because other people are there to uh, push you to work as hard as possible and actually at the end of the day this is a collective team project so uh, you yourself will actually be more motivated to work hard. 
So an example of this is during the COVID pandemic, um, there are a lot of pictures of doctors and nurses really coming together and trying to work efficiently together as a team. And actually that had a sense of motivation and a sense of positivity that they showed to the community and the public. Now let's move on to the topic of leadership. Here are three questions on your screen. So what are some features of a good leader? Well, let me give a personal example from my time at Nottingham Medical School, where we were going through the problem-based learning part of the course. Now, one of my team members were, was the leader of the team, um, and they were very efficient in the way that they delegated tasks. So delegating tasks as a team leader is very important because you need to make sure that every team member is working efficiently in the team and has an understanding of their role in the team as well. Another thing they did very well is they motivated everyone. Um, they were very good at uh, just identifying when people didn't feel quite right and they would approach them and say, how are, you feel, how are you feeling? Do you understand what you need to do um, this week for, your, for the project? And they just made sure that they were constantly motivating the team to make everyone feel as comfortable as possible. Also, they were very approachable as a person. And finally, and I think the most important part is as a team leader, you have to be decisive. You need to make the final decision. On to the next question. Do all teams need a team leader? So when answering this question, you need to make sure that you're giving the pros and the cons of having a team leader in your team. So let's think about why you should have a team leader. Well, first of all, they sh they're there to discipline the team and make sure that everyone is on track. Um, the uh, team leader is very important to motivate your team and also to make that final de decision, especially when you're in a, a big group where lots of people have different ideas. However, it could be argued that some teams, for example, small teams of two or three members, don't need a team leader because they can actually cooperate together to come to the decision, the final decision. Also, it could be argued that when you have a team leader, they can almost veto any decisions that other team members might want to contribute to or make. Um, and another thing that you could talk about to the interviewer is that when you are working in a team, Every single person in the team can sometimes input or be like a leader. So um, don't forget to mention this to the interviewer and state that even team players can become team leaders at certain points. The final question is, do you prefer working alone or in a team? Now, this is a fantastic question because again, you can talk about both sides of the argument. You can talk about the pros and cons of working alone and then the pros and cons of working in a team. I think the best way to go about answering this question is to talk to the interviewer about the fact that this is very situation dependent. Sometimes you might need to work well by yourself and alone. Um, for example, if you're writing an essay, you need to, you need to do that by yourself. However, in, in team environments, for example, in sports, it's very important to be working and cooperating together. Um, you could also mention that you've developed these skills in individual sporting events. So for example, in badminton, that's a, a sport that you might play more individually. However, if you're playing football or cricket, that's more of a team sport. So try to give some examples and maybe even mention your work experience here as well. So that rounds off the tutorial on leadership and teamwork. Please have a think about why these are so important and why they're actually asking you these questions in the first place. And finally, link back to medicine. Explain why teamwork is so important in a hospital setting, in a GP setting, and when working with other healthcare professionals. Thanks for watching this video. Click below to subscribe and catch more of our videos. To watch our full online course and find out how you can enrol onto our award-winning program with personalised one-to-one tutoring, online weekly webinars and more, click here.